Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a world that might sound straight out of science fiction extremophiles. These incredible organisms thrive in some of the harshest environments on Earth. From scorching deserts to freezing polar regions, and even in highly acidic or super salty conditions, extremophiles are showing us that life finds a way. So, buckle up as we embark on a fascinating journey to uncover the secrets of these extraordinary creatures. What are extremophiles? Extremophiles are microorganisms, including bacteria and archaea, that are capable of thriving in extreme and often harsh environmental conditions that would be lethal to most other life forms. These conditions include extremes of temperature, acidity or alkalinity, pH, salinity, pressure, and even radiation levels. Despite the challenging nature of their habitats, extremophiles have developed unique biological adaptations that enable them to survive, reproduce, and sometimes even carry out metabolic activities in these extreme environments. Types of extremophiles Thermophiles Thermophiles are a type of extremophile microorganism that thrive in high-temperature environments, often exceeding 50 degrees Celsius, 122 degrees Fahrenheit, and sometimes even reaching temperatures above boiling point. These organisms have evolved unique adaptations to not only survive but also carry out their metabolic processes in such extreme heat. They are commonly found in places like hot springs, geothermal vents, hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor, and other geothermally heated areas. Some examples of thermophiles are Sulfolobus species Sulfolobus is a genus of thermophilic archaea that can be found in volcanic areas, hot springs, and geothermal vents. These organisms are capable of thriving in extremely acidic conditions, with pH levels as low as 0.5. Thermus aquaticus, TAC. One of the most well-known examples of thermophiles is the bacterium Thermus aquaticus, often referred to as TAC. This microorganism was discovered in the hot springs of Yellowstone National Park in the United States. TAC is particularly famous for its heat-stable enzyme called TAC polymerase which is used in PCR. What are psychrophiles? Psychrophiles are a type of extremophile microorganism that thrive in cold environments, particularly those with temperatures near or below freezing. These remarkable organisms have adapted to survive and even grow in conditions that would be inhospitable to most other life forms. Psychrophiles are commonly found in places such as polar ice, glaciers, deep sea trenches, and cold freshwater bodies. Some examples of psychrophiles are Psychrobacter species Psychrobacter, a bacterial species or versatile psychrophiles found in a variety of cold environments, including Arctic and Antarctic regions. They are known for their ability to grow and function well at temperatures close to freezing. Chlamydomonas nivalis. This microalga is responsible for the phenomenon known as watermelon snow. It thrives in alpine and polar environments, where it gives the snow a reddish-pink color due to its pigmentation. What are acidophiles? Acidophiles are a type of extremophile microorganism that thrive in environments with extremely low pH levels, typically below pH 3. These organisms have evolved unique adaptations to withstand and even thrive in highly acidic conditions that would be lethal to most other life forms. Acidophiles are commonly found in places such as acid mine drainage sites, volcanic areas, and acidic hot springs. Some examples of acidophiles are Ferrovum species these acidophilic bacteria are often found in environments contaminated with acidic mine drainage. They are known for their ability to oxidize iron and sulfur compounds, contributing to the formation of acidic runoff in mining areas. Acidotheobacillus species. These bacteria play a crucial role in bioleaching, a process used to extract metals from ores. They thrive in acidic environments and can oxidize sulfide minerals, releasing valuable metals. What are alkaliphiles? Alkaliphiles are a type of extremophile microorganism that thrive in environments with extremely high pH levels, typically above pH 9. These organisms have evolved unique adaptations to withstand and even flourish in highly alkaline conditions that would be inhospitable to most other life forms. Alkaliphiles are commonly found in places such as soda lakes, alkaline soils, and alkaline hydrothermal vents. Some examples of alkaliphiles are Bacillus alkalophilus. This bacterium is often found in alkaline soils and can tolerate high pH levels. It produces enzymes that function optimally in alkaline conditions and has potential applications in biotechnology. Alkaliphilic cyanobacteria. Some cyanobacteria, a type of photosynthetic microorganism, are adapted to alkaline conditions. They play a role in primary production in alkaline environments like soda lakes. What are halophils? Halophils are a type of extremophile microorganism that thrive in environments with high concentrations of salt, often exceeding the salinity of seawater. These organisms have evolved unique adaptations to cope with the osmotic stress and other challenges posed by their salty habitats. Halophils are commonly found in places such as salt flats, salt mines, saline lakes, and even in highly salty foods like salted fish. 
Some examples of halophils are Halobacterium species. Halobacterium is a genus of halophilic archaea commonly found in salted environments such as salt flats and salt ponds. Dunaliella salina. This microalga is a well-known halophile found in highly saline environments like salt flats and brine pools. What are barophiles? Barophiles, also known as pyzophiles, are a type of extremophile microorganism that thrive in high-pressure environments, particularly in the deep sea regions where pressure levels are significantly greater than at the Earth's surface. These organisms have evolved unique adaptations to withstand the immense pressures of the deep ocean, which can reach hundreds of times higher than atmospheric pressure. Barophiles are commonly found in deep sea trenches, hydrothermal vents, and other deep sea environments. Some examples of barophiles are Shawanala species. These bacteria are often found in deep sea sediments and hydrothermal vent systems. They can thrive in both high pressure and high temperature environments, contributing to the cycling of nutrients in the deep ocean. Photobacterium profundum. This bacterium is found in deep sea environments where pressure is extremely high. It's capable of carrying out photosynthesis even in conditions of extreme pressure and darkness. What are radiotolerant organisms? Radiotolerant organisms are those that can withstand high levels of ionizing radiation, which can damage DNA and other cellular components. These organisms have evolved unique mechanisms to repair such damage and continue functioning in environments with elevated radiation levels. Examples of radiotolerant organisms are Deinococcus radiodurans. One of the most famous examples of a radiotolerant microorganism is Deinococcus radiodurans. This bacterium is often referred to as Conan the bacterium, due to its remarkable ability to survive extreme levels of radiation. Bacillus species. Certain species of the Bacillus genus, including Bacillus pumilus and Bacillus megaterium, have shown radiotolerant traits. They can endure high levels of radiation and recover from DNA damage. What are xerophiles? Xerophiles are a type of extremophile microorganism that are adapted to thrive in extremely dry environments with very low water availability. These organisms have evolved unique adaptations to withstand desiccation, drying out, and survive in conditions where water is scarce. Xerophiles are commonly found in places such as deserts, arid soils, and other environments with limited moisture. Some examples of xerophiles are Croococcidiopsis species. These cyanobacteria are often found in desert soils, rocks, and even on the surfaces of rocks in the Antarctic dry valleys. Sporosarchina species. These bacteria are found in arid soils and are known for their ability to form spores that can withstand desiccation. Sporosarchina species can survive in dried-out states for extended periods and become active again when water is present. What are metallophiles? Metallophiles are a type of extremophile microorganism that thrive in environments with high concentrations of heavy metals, which are typically toxic to most life forms. These organisms have evolved unique adaptations that allow them to tolerate and even thrive in metal-rich environments. Metallophiles are commonly found in places such as contaminated soils, mine tailings, and environments with naturally high metal content. Some examples of metallophiles are Acidithiobacillus ferrooxidans. These bacteria are often found in acidic environments like acid mine drainage sites. They can oxidize iron and sulfur compounds, contributing to the production of acidic runoff. Acidithiobacillus ferrooxidans is also used in bio-leaching processes to extract valuable metals from ores. Cupriavitus metallodorans. This bacterium is known for its ability to tolerate extremely high concentrations of heavy metals, including cadmium, copper, and zinc. It's often found in metal-contaminated environments and can contribute to bioremediation efforts. What are the applications of extremophiles? Extremophiles have a wide range of applications across various fields due to their unique adaptations to extreme environments. Some of the notable applications of extremophiles include Enzyme production. Extremozymes produced by extremophiles are used in various industrial processes. Example include thermophilic bacterium Geobacillus stereothermophilus produces alpha amylase, an enzyme used in starch processing for food and beverage production. Bioremediation. Extremophiles help clean up polluted environments by degrading contaminants. Example include Shawanella onidensis, a bacterium, can reduce and immobilize heavy metals like uranium and technetium, aiding in the cleanup of radioactive waste sites. Pharmaceuticals and drug discovery. Extremophiles are sources of bioactive compounds with potential medical applications. Example include Streptomyces nodosus produces the antibiotic actinomycin D, used in cancer treatment. Example include Streptomyces nodosus produces the antibiotic actinomycin D, used in cancer treatment. Astrobiology and origin of life studies. Extremophiles provide insights into the potential for life beyond Earth. 
Example include acid-loving microorganisms like Acidithiobacillus ferrooxidans have implications for understanding extreme conditions on early Earth and the potential for life on acidic extraterrestrial environments. Environmental monitoring and biomarkers. Extremophiles serve as indicators of environmental changes. Example include presence of extremophiles like methanobacterium in extreme environments like hot springs can indicate geothermal activity. Food preservation. Extremophiles contribute to the production of fermented foods with extended shelf life. Example include halophilic bacterium Halobacterium salinarum is used to ferment salted fish, enhancing preservation and flavor. Bioplastics and biofuels. Extremophiles with unique metabolic abilities are explored for sustainable material and fuel production. Example include thermos thermophilus enzymes are investigated for their potential in converting biomass to biofuels and bioplastics. Molecular biology and genetic engineering. Extremophiles provide genetic material for studying and engineering cellular processes. Example include genes from extremophiles like Pyrococcus furiosus are used in DNA manipulation techniques and genetic engineering. Agriculture and stress tolerance. Extremophiles offer insights into improving stress tolerance in crops. Example include extremophiles like Danococcus radiodurans are studied for their potential to enhance crop resilience to environmental stressors. Scientific exploration and education. Extremophiles provide captivating subjects for scientific research and public engagement. Example include studying extremophiles in extreme environments like hydrothermal vents helps uncover hidden ecosystems and promotes public interest in science. Conclusion. Extremophiles are living proof that life is resilient and resourceful, able to thrive where we thought it was impossible. So, next time you find yourself in an extreme environment, just remember, there might be extremophiles right under your feet, showing us that the boundaries of life are far more flexible than we once believed. Thank you for joining us on this extreme journey of discovery. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to stay updated. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.